What's going on you guys? This is MXKDI here, another Dale Inspire on 660S. Okay, this video should be upgrades uh, memory, video card, and a hard drive. So what you're gonna do is uh, you need a Phillips screwdriver. You're gonna move the two screws here in the back. This holds the side cover panel. You have to remove the two screws here. Okay, now you're gonna slide, move it to the other side like this. And we're gonna start off from the hard drive and remove the front cover bezel. There's little clips right here. Take your finger like this, lift them up gently. And your front cover bezel will come right out, just like that. Now, there'll be three screws here. One right here you have to remove. And there'll be two in the front right here that you have to remove the screw one here one right there Now you can just lift this uh, what you're gonna do is disconnect that uh, so you just take your finger lift up like this it comes right out and you disconnect the optical drive set and power cable and same with the hard drive right here set and power and the hard drive will be right in the back and there'll be two screws on each side And you're gonna move the hard drive, it just slides out, slides down like this. And I'm gonna be upgrading another hard drive. I would go at least uh, with one terabyte, but I would probably go at least two terabytes if you wanna do still a lot of pictures, a lot of videos. Or you guys can go and upgrade to solid state drive if you wanna do that, then. So what you do is a 2.5 inch solid state drive will work fine, like right here you can install it. And all you need is a two-sided two, two double tape right here. And uh, through using the 3M, they have they sell online. It's a double-sided uh, foam tape they sell. You can just install it right here and model it like this and hold pretty well for the solid state drive. Any 2.5 inch solid state drive will work fine. So let me go ahead and install the hard drive back. It was like that. Okay. Upgrade. I install back the screws. And I'll be uploading guys a separate video for the disassembly teardown for this Dale Inspire 660S. Install a new hard drive. Now, what you're gonna do is uh, install back. You're gonna connect back the SATA and power cable for the hard drive. Same with the optical drive here. Connect back the SATA and power. And install it back. Now, what we're gonna do is uh, install the screws back. And be the last screw right here where the power supply is at on the top. Now I'm gonna switch to the other side, upgrade the memory, 
And what you do is take your finger right here, a little clip right clip right here, you press it down a little gently to release the memory. And I'm going to be upgrading guys uh, DDR3 1600 dual channel, this is eight gig, uh, that's 4 gig per each slot, so it'll be dual channel 8 gigs total. DDR3 1600, I'm going to be installing uh, Carsair memory, but you can use, I like a Kingston, Crucial and Carsair, those are top 3 brands I like, the memory. And when you install the memory uh, properly, you're, you will hear two clicks. Again, DDR3 1333 or DDR3 1600, 9 ACC on buffer memory for a desktop. So install the memory. Now will be the last part is the video card. And I'm gonna be installing the video card through PCI Express times 16 slot right here, the bottom one right here. That's why I'm gonna install the video card. And what you do have to do is remove the one screw here that holds a PCI low profile bracket here. And the video card, guys, I'm going to be installing is uh, AMD Radeon HD R5 240. And this is a low profile with low profile bracket video card. So it's got a DVI and a display port right here. But they do sell adapter that from display port you can go with HDMI. Or you guys can go with the other video card right here. This is a low profile with low profile bracket. It's a, uh, what is it, the model? It's a uh, GeForce GT 610, and this is two gigs. Again, GeForce GT 610, and this is the two gig uh, video card too. And it actually does have a DVI with HDMI. Or you can go with uh, AMD Radeon HD 7570 right here, and it's got a DVI and a Display Port. But you can get adapter for a Display Port to uh, HDMI. They sell those online. So let me install the video card. Oh, let's see like this. The video card is installed. Now you're going to mount the screw back in here, secure the video card. And you just have to go to AMD website and get the drivers for it, just uh, which operating system you have. If you can run a 64 bit, then you have to download the driver for 64 bit video card driver and just install the driver and start the computer for the video card. So I'm going to install, guys, back the side cover panel and we're done. And the power supply in here is. Uh, it's only 220 watt in here. It will work perfectly fine with this video card. And then you're gonna have to install back the fence shroud right here, a little plastic like this. And it just installs back like this. So this has got a better airflow. So we install back the front cover basil. And we're gonna install back the side cover panel. And we have to install back the, the screws in the back. So you guys, this will be the end of the video. This is for the Dell Inspiron 660S. This is MXKDI here, guys. Uh, thanks for watching. Bye.